Prop 47 just passed by California voters is intended to help criminals get back to work while lessening the burden on courts and jails. But early reports indicate there are problems with Prop 47. Good evening, I'm Sam Shane. And tonight we are asking the question, what are the problems with implementing Prop 47? And CBS 13's Derek Shore is live in Sacramento getting answers for us tonight. Derek? Well, Sam, Sheriff Scott Jones tells us he has already released dozens of inmates from the Sacramento County Jail under Prop 47. Many of those uh, inmates now finding themselves on the street and many wondering how we are going to make sure they don't reoffend. Well, that turns out to be a multi million dollar question that some say has yet to be answered. Proposition 47 effectively turns once felony crimes into simple misdemeanors like theft, shoplifting, and drug possession. In theory, that's a good thing. Christine Morse is with Ascend, a local rehabilitation group helping former criminals get their lives on track. She says while Prop 47 has good intentions, the money it's supposed to provide to organizations just hasn't appeared. Prop 47 adds probably hundreds of people to the already hundreds of people that are knocking down our door. Prop 47 is supposed to give money to rehabilitation programs by using some of the money being saved by jails. But Mike Rushford with Criminal Justice Legal Fund, who opposed 47, says based on the state's record, he's not hopeful it'll ever appear. The funding has never been adequate. The programs aren't there for these offenders. And now we're seeing it again with a, a, another proposition, which is going to put a whole bunch more offenders out onto the street. The same concerns from Sacramento Sheriff Scott Jones. He says he's already let more than 50 inmates go with misdemeanor tickets. If I can arrest people and house them in my jail, I have as many or more programs in our correctional facility as anywhere in the state. But if they're not in my custody, they cannot avail themselves to those programs. For past criminals, however, trying to do it right, it may be a new start. Tim Sanders will soon no longer be a felon. If it redu can reduce it to misdemeanors, then yeah, that, that, that pretty much clears up my record for uh, better jobs, uh, even housing. And Sheriff Jones says while there have been over 50 inmates released from the Sacramento County Jail, those were just inmates who had been charged and yet to go to trial. So those charges turning into misdemeanors now, those who have been convicted and are currently in jail, well, those people will have to put in a petition. He isn't sure just how many there are currently in the county. He's uh, going through his records to figure that out, but each one of them will put in a petition and be released somewhere probably in the hundreds. Well, Sam? as they say, it sounds like a fluid situation there, Derek. Eric, thanks very much for the live update from Sacramento. New